So, last week we finished our studies on uh, the power of God. Our studies is limited, but the power of God is not limited. Amen? Amen. We can actually continue more and study about the power of God, but we just studied a little bit. And uh, but God's power is always you can never study completely. We thank God for His power. And we thank God that it rests upon our life. And when we are faithful in serving, it is manifested. All right, today we are going to take one particular subject only for today. And that will be on this subject called. I just did my notes right now sitting here. So we will have a couple of one chapter we will see. And. Uh, this basically comes up because of the question one guy asked us when we were doing a street meeting, uh, ministry in Panjim, bus stand. One man came up and he said Jesus came to India when he, between 13 to 30. Right? So some people say that Jesus came to India and he did yoga and became a yoga guru and he was a Hindu. Right? You know, in this day and age, I mean, recently there are there is one page on the Facebook, and they want to promote a particular religion. So, you know, they will look at a particular idol in a temple, and they just want to say that even though our gods lived three thousand, four thousand years ago, they still had iPhones and all these things. I don't know if you have checked it. There is one picture of all this idol and in that one lady is like this have you seen that no, no one lady is like this and so the author of that page is showing look the lady is like that so she was using a phone even that time 3000 years ago she was using phone so India was way ahead uh, ahead in time using a father, husband might have slapped her, so she did that. But these people are saying what? She had a phone. Right? Each one is trying cheapfully to try to... See, when, when you are truthful, you don't have to lie. When you are true, you don't have to make up. You just have to let the word of God speak for itself. Hmm? And there is another thing, like one lady is holding some kind of a foe, you know, this and she's holding this in her hand and they say, see, 3000 years ago they had the tab in their hands. This is, and thousands of people commenting and liking and sharing, like, wow, look, we were so, so ahead, we were so developed and we were all these things. Sometimes, you know, people, and then they come up with this thing about Jesus came to India to, you know, to learn yoga and became a yoga guru. And then he died in Kashmir. They say that there is a tomb in Kashmir that belongs to Jesus Christ. Some people believe that Jesus died in Tamil Nadu. Hmm? So this is going on. This, uh, and some people, there is a theory, I don't know if you have seen that Jesus Christ uh, got married to Mary Magdalene and has many children and now they are all living in France. Hmm? So there are many theories and uh, at the end of the day what the devil wants to do is he wants to simply he'll do anything and everything kuch bhi okay just to ruin the name of Jesus Christ right or just to Prove that Jesus Christ is not God, so that the devil can be God. That's the ultimate motive of the evil one. Hmm? So we will look at what the Bible says. We will see what the Bible says. Where was Jesus? Where was Jesus? Where was Jesus? Between... 13 to 30. 
and then at the age of 30 he got baptized in Jordan right where was Jesus between 13 to 30 all right and let's turn our Bible today we're going to study that let's turn our Bible to the gospel of Luke And this is important if any, you know, anybody questions you and this is good for us to know. Luke chapter 2. And we're going to see from verse number 39. Hmm? So, as a child, Jesus was in Nazareth, he is in Israel, everybody knows that, no one is having any issue. The problem they have, the unbelievers have, or trying to cast doubt is between 12 to 30, between 13 to 30. That's where they are trying to make up a story. Hmm? And what we are going to see is, what we will see what the Bible says. Where was Jesus between 13 to 30? In verse number 39, the Bible says, And when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee to their own city, Nazareth. So Jesus is from where? First one. From Nazareth, the city of Nazareth. You know, in the Bible we read all the time, Jesus of Nazareth, right? He is called as what? Jesus of Nazareth. He is not called as Jesus of Chennai or Jesus of Kashmir or Jesus of India. Where you live and where you are brought up, you will be called according to that. Right? Jesus of Nazareth. In the city of Nazareth. And what they did was, Luke verse 39, And when they had performed all the things according to the law of the Lord, so which means Jesus kept the law just like, his, uh, just like Mary and Joseph kept the law. Jesus had to keep the law because he was born in a Jewish family. Secondly, Jesus kept the law not because he was a sinner but because he came to fulfill the law. He came to fulfill the law. So the Bible says that when they had performed all things according to the law of the Lord, they returned into Galilee to their own city Nazareth. So Jesus kept the law. You can say Jesus kept the law and returned to his city Nazareth. Jesus kept the law. Second, he was from the city of Nazareth. City of Nazareth. We are building up the foundation for this study. Now look at verse number 40. Verse number 40. Now what they say is Jesus came to in, uh, India and here in India he began to study a lot of things and then at the age of 30 he goes back to Israel and whatever he learned from all these yoga gurus, these drug addicts, uh, went and preached about all those things in Israel. You see, all these guys, Rishi Muni is not there, whatever they are, in their Himalayas and all. You know, they live in what? Caves. Yeah, they live in caves and they smoke weeds. They all are into drugs. Everybody. Not one fellow will be without drugs who live in these Himalayas doing all this meditation. You got to understand. Yeah, recently there was a video, I think in Arambol, they, are, they were chanting some mantras. Who? All the western hippies. 
and then the people were saying look wow look at this what a tradition we have now the westerners have adopted what our culture hmm no 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 they come here because of drugs <laughs> and when they take drugs that's what they do you understand and so when we read in the word of god we see verse number 40 and the child so where is now verse number 39 says he came back to the city of nazareth verse number 40 and the child grew and waxed strong in the spirit look at that filled with now jesus is a child as a child he is full of he doesn't have to go anywhere he is full of wisdom even as a child he is full of wisdom he doesn't need a teacher he was a teacher to everybody he had wisdom even as a child that no individual in this world ever had and the child grew and waxed strong in the spirit filled with wisdom and the grace of god was upon him, upon him. so keep that in mind as a child even he was full of wisdom he doesn't need to go to any university he never went to any university he was full of wisdom and full of grace hmm now look at verse number 42 well look at verse 41 now his parents went to jerusalem every year at the feast of the now keep that in mind Where, what they did they went every year all right mary and joseph verse 42 and when he was what was that when he was mary. which means even before he was 12 jesus was full of wow as a child so once you are 13 you are a teenager right but even before he was 12 as a child he was full of wisdom he is not he was not having just wisdom he was what <laughs> that means you cannot improve on that he is the alpha and the omega of the wisdom he was full of wisdom he did not start having wisdom he always had wisdom everything was created by him through wisdom wisdom was always with him from eternity to eternity so was 42 and when he was 12 years old they went up to jerusalem after the custom of the feast so they kept the customs all right Now look at verse number let me let we'll go from verse 1 verse 40 just verse by verse verse 43 and when they had fulfilled the days so which mean they stayed in Jerusalem during that feast and then they finished those days and when they had fulfilled the days as they returned the child Jesus so he's still 12 he's not a teenager the child Jesus tarried behind in jerusalem and joseph look at how the bible the holy spirit uses the word and joseph he doesn't say his father he says and joseph because joseph was not his father but then the bible uses the word his mother because mary gave but and he was uh, and when they had fulfilled the days as they returned the child jesus stayed behind in jerusalem and joseph and his mother knew not of it what does it teach it teaches that mary did not know everything and she does not know everything she cannot know everything she is not omniscient she is not all knowing she didn't even know where her son was can you imagine that a 12 year old child is left behind doesn't even know that is a strange thing and the whole world half of the world is praying to her 
and actually she didn't even know where her own son was for three days. I'm not putting Mary down. I'm just saying she was just a human being who was chosen by God. She is not God. She is not mother of God. And they supposing him to be supposing him to have been in the company went a day's journey and they sought him among their kinfolk and acquaintance. Uh, well, I can actually preach on that verse 44, but that's not our subject today. And when they had when they found him, and when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem seeking him. And it came to pass. That after three days, they found him in the temple. Sitting in what? <laughs> sitting in the midst of? I mean, can you imagine a 12-year-old child sitting in the midst of doctors? <laughs> because why? He's full of wisdom. He doesn't need some drug smoking and weed smoking and weed chewing. Angori Babas to teach wisdom. <laughs> He is full of wisdom. Amen? Amen? And so he is there talking to doctors. You know what Angori Babas eat? Dead bodies. You know where they live? Cemetery. They wait for the dead bodies. And they put all the ash on them. And they keep smoking drugs. You know, in the Bible, Jesus set one Angori Baba free. Hmm? There was this guy from childhood. He was possessed by that unclean spirit. And he was living where? Among the dead, in the tomb. He put that ash on him, cut his body. They would chain him and he would break it. It's Angori Babas. He was an Angori Baba. But when he saw Jesus, what happened? He came running, fell at the face, worshipped Jesus. This is why, why, why are you tormenting me? And the Lord Jesus sets him free, makes him free. And then the Bible says he is, in, he is now found sitting in right mind and clothed. That's what Jesus does. So Jesus at the age of 12 is talking to the doctors because he's full of wisdom. He's not getting little, little wisdom. He is full of wisdom. He is actually increasing the wisdom. <laughs> wisdom does not increase him. He increases wisdom. And then we see in verse number. Okay, 46. And it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple sitting in the midst of doctors both hearing them and asking them questions. He was listening to them and he did what? He asked them questions. I mean, can you imagine 12 year old child asking questions to doctors? Now look at this. But his questions were not to learn. His questions were to make them think. The question Jesus was asking was not to learn but to make them Think. If you look at the Bible, wherever Jesus, whenever Jesus did ministry, whenever people asked him a question, he asked a question again. That's the way he taught people. Making people think. Let my people think. Look at that, verse number 47. And all that heard him, what happened to them? Were astonished at his understandings and he did, not answer, he did not ask questions so he can learn from the doctors. He asked questions so he could teach the doctors. So he could answer the right thing. Because the doctors were always wrong there. So his understanding and his answers astonished the people. He doesn't have to go anywhere to learn anything. He's a great teacher. So, he's 
questions, yeah, I mean, his questions and understanding and answers astonished astonished spelling aston n i s h astonished the hearers like where did he get all that from was 48 and when they saw him they were amazed and his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold thy father. I don't want to talk about it right now. We'll, we'll miss the point here. But Jesus, Joseph was not the father, right? That shows Mary was just like you and me. Thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. They were sad. Where was Jesus? Look at verse 49. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wish ye not that I must be about my father's business? Uh huh. You know what Jesus was doing? He was doing the father's business. So where was Jesus from 13 to 30? He was busy with the father's business. What business? teaching he did not start teaching at the age of 30 he was already teaching you understand he already he was already doing the father's business even as a child at the age of 12 so he was busy in the father's business keep that in mind these things will help you hmm? he was with the father's business now Verse number 50. And they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. Verse 51. And he went down with them. Now look at this. This is important. What was Jesus doing from the age of 12 to 30 or 13 to 30? He was busy with the father's business. And then look at verse 51. He went down with them and came to? He came to India? Where did he come? He came to Nazareth and was what? Subject unto them. Unto whom? Unto Mary and Joseph. Just like any child that would stay with the parents. Jesus stayed with Mary and Joseph. He was subject unto them. He did not come traveling to India. He was subject to Mary and Joseph. You don't have to go anywhere. The Bible answers the whole question. The answer is right here in the book. He went down to them and came to Nazareth and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. Verse 52. Now look at that. And Jesus increased in wisdom. That did not mean that he got more and more and more, that he was having less. The Bible already made it. He was full of wisdom. He increased in wisdom means every time as he grew and he spoke, people were understanding new things. People were able to identify new things, new teachings. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and he was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these things saying, Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. What is stature means? Heights. He was growing. Now he was not 6.1. He was 5.5. He was, Jesus was not a tall man. He was a short man. Hmm? The Bible says, anyway, was, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature, and then he what? And in favor with God and 
man. He was right there in Nazareth. That's what the Bible says. And he increased in wisdom there. He increased in stature there. He grew up there. He was subject to Joseph and Mary. Joseph and Jude. <laughs> Joseph and Mary. That's good. You're right. Almost. Alright, so Luke chapter 2 basically gives us the whole answer. Where was Jesus? He was in Nazareth, the city of Nazareth. Where was he? He was full of wisdom. He didn't, want, he didn't have to go anywhere to learn something because he himself was a teacher teaching the doctors and the scribes and the Pharisees. He was talking to the doctors at the tw age of 12, asking them questions and his understanding and answers astonished other people. The questions, understanding and answers astonished the other people. And Jesus was busy in his father's business. And then he was subject to Mary and Joseph. And he increased in wisdom. As he grew, people were able to see that. His wisdom was increasing. Hmm? We never read Jesus ever smoked any weed. But when you do yoga, that's what you do. Hmm? Look at Luke chapter 4 verse 16. Luke chapter 4, verse number 16. This is amazing. You don't have to run anywhere to know the answer. The Bible says that. Luke chapter 4, verse 16. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been. <laughs> Jesus was brought up in. Brought up in. Nazareth. Amen. Where he had been brought up and as his custom... He went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. So as is custom, which means what? Every Saturday he went to the synagogue. You understand? He did not follow the Hindu religion. He followed the Jewish religion. He kept the custom. He kept the feast. He went to the synagogue every Saturday. As he grew up, he was subject to his people. He went to the temple in the synagogue as his customs regularly and he was subject to Mary and Joseph doing the father's business growing in stature and in wisdom asking questions and then answering with great understanding astonishing the people talking to the doctors full of wisdom in the city of Nazareth hmm well, when you come, to, when you do this yoga and you learn what you go to, when you do yoga, to you, you pray to whom? You just empty your mind, isn't it? That's what yoga means. You yoke to these evil spirits. You empty your mind. That's what yoga teaches. Empty your mind. The Bible doesn't teach us to empty our mind. The Bible teaches us to renew our mind. If you keep your mind empty, what happens? You invite all other unnecessary things. You get into such kind of evil world of illusions. That's why have you seen this in some the trance musics and the and for yoga music and all. And if you look, there's always you know there's this is what their lights are, right? Am I right? 
and it goes on blue light green light yellow light red light and just gets your mind and then their music is always non stop and on and on and on because what happens have you seen, have you seen in the charismatic meetings you know people can stand for some time and then they just fall why because when you repeat a song over and over and over and over and over and again and over your mind starts your body starts moving in that same place you start moving and when you repeat the things over and over again and you lose control of your body and boom you fall and then people they have the power of the holy spirit i don't know if anybody when you stand stood for assembly in your school i don't know how many of you fell down many people will fall down during assembly anybody fell down you have one what about you yes dum dum people start there one fellow fell here another girl fell there somebody else fell that was not the power of the holy spirit either you did not have breakfast or the sun was too hot or you got tired <laughs> hmm so there were some people who were very smart they purposely fell so they can go and sit in the class <laughs> because who will do this <laughs> on and on and on huh I knew that that's why I told you <laughs> Okay Then they teach you about you know so Anyway Jesus was brought up in Nazareth Now look at Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 Jesus did not empty his mind He basically emptied himself which means he took upon himself the form of a man the flesh but look at matthew chapter 6 verse 9 the lord jesus did not do yoga because people who do yoga they pray to the creatures or they empty their mind and connect to the evil spirit but look at chapter in matthew chapter 6 verse 9 After this manner therefore pray ye how you pray our father you know jesus taught us to pray how and when jesus prayed to whom he prayed to the father in heaven when he got himself out from the crowd early in the morning he went to the mountain and he prayed to whom the father in john chapter 17 what he is praying to the father people who do, do yoga don't pray to the father actually christian should not be doing those things you can do stretchings but when you do yoga you know what yoga is every positions of yoga is a position of the hindu gods and goddesses inviting that power upon them unfortunately lot of christians do these things unknowingly Hmm? And the Lord Jesus Christ prayed to the Father. He did not pray to some stones and trees. He prayed to the Father. You know who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? The Lamb of God. You know what Jesus says? If you eat my flesh, you know who was Jesus? He was not a vegetarian. He was a non-vegetarian. he ate fish he ate lamb he had lentils also is <laughs> that that's the right thing is the only non vegetarian lamb <laughs> right <laughs> and is the non vegetarian lion of course all lions are non veg right So where was Jesus between 13 to 30 he was in Nazareth busy in his father's business teaching the lawyers and doctors hmm he was full of wisdom he was subject to Mary and Joseph he was brought up in Nazareth he was not brought up anywhere else in Nazareth the bible answers and you got to know this 
If anybody asks you and challenges you, turn them to Luke chapter 2. The answer is right there. Amen? Amen. That's it for today. Tomorrow when we come, we have a special sub. Um, next week, we'll, uh, we will be starting with a new series of study on a particular subject. <laughs>